Mike Schmitz of ESPN. We're here with Usman Jeng. Uh, New Zealand Breakers having a, a big season these last couple games, these last couple months, really kind of putting it together. Um, Usman, how would you describe you know, what, the, what the year's been like for you so far? Uh, the beginning of the season was a little bit tough for me. First year in pro uh, against Goldman, new country, but I worked every day to getting used to it, and I'm starting to be comfortable in this league, so that's good. Yeah, you can, you can see it for sure. So we're going to go through all the elements of your game and kind of go through the things that, you know, it takes to be like a really good NBA wing or guard or how, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, and so I think we'll get into the fun stuff, right, where you're, you know, your step back threes and all that. Um, but I think earlier in your career, it's important to do the little things, right? Yeah. Run the floor, crash the glass, um, be a cutter, all those little things. And here are some good examples, I think, of, of you doing that um, because you're so fluid. So w what's going through your head here um, that allows you to kind of just run the floor this hard? Yeah, so my defender was behind me, so yeah. just run up the floor and wait and see if I find me. Yeah. Play. And play with that energy, right? Yeah. Did it take you some time to, to figure out, like, what it means to play like that all the time? Yeah, yeah, because I wasn't like that every day, so yeah. I had to work on that. And it's a fast league, yeah. and be a physical league and fast league, so yeah. And we're seeing it more and more, and then this even too, right? So you can see where you start, yeah. and just the effort, um, the energy, and then it's the eye contact with the guard. Yeah. I know Peyton Siva is a willing passer too, so yeah. when I saw him with the ball, I'm just running, and he's going to find me. And there we can see the length. Yeah. Do you know the, your wingspan? Uh, not really. No. Long. Um, 220. Okay. No, sure. Longer than me. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Um, but there, and then, and then the dunk in the open court as well. Um, so showing, like, I think in the NBA, anytime you can score the ball without having to use any dribbles, yeah. that's a win for the offense, yeah. right? Yeah. Because um, you might be playing next to, you know, Steph Curry or Damian Lillard or Trey Young or these guys who have the ball in their yeah. hands a lot, right? Yeah. So, so you think you'll be able to fit in? Yeah, I have to play. I would have to play off ball a lot. So yeah. yeah. I think it's very great. Even early in your career, right? Eventually, yeah. you earn the trust of your coaches. They see, oh, wow, like, Ooze can really pass the ball. Mm -hmm. Then you get more, more reps doing it, right? Um, and then I think it's these little things, too. Like, I think you have the size and agility to be a really good rebounder. Would you agree? Yeah. I have to be better on the, yeah. the offensive rebound, I think. Yeah. And that's what I, little details that make me score easy points. Yeah. So I have to go more. Crash more often. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, w I would agree. And, and then sometimes it's being like a cutter too, right? Yeah. So what, this is last night. What's, what's your read here? Uh, I saw that my defender helping on the wall, so yep. I'm just cutting and finish. Yeah. And, and the dunk too. I told you guys, I, I want to see more dunks from you. Because <laughs> you have the touch, you have the ability yeah. to finish with finesse, but you're so long, like sometimes you can just go yeah. punch on someone, right? Yeah. You feel that way? Yeah, I have to yeah, work more on my versatility and I can uh, yeah. Yeah, put a, put a guy on a poster or two. I think, I think you have that, that ability. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, this is where I think you've shown over these last few games, like you're really shooting the ball with confidence. This is a big three at a big moment, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you're shooting the ball really well, what are some of the things that, that you're doing, like mechanically? Uh, the, I have my ball in my phone. My right palm. Okay. Be good in my like square up. Uh huh. And just let it fly. I think a lot of it too is like the shot preparation, right? Yeah. So you can see they're digging down. Yeah, I saw him digging down, so I know the ball's coming to me, and just ready to let it fly. Yeah, perfect. Um, and again, really good balance, great touch. So we've seen that you can play off the ball in those situations, and then once you start making shots, what do they do? They, they chasing me. Yeah. More so. I had to drive. So they run you off the line, yeah. right? And I just have to drive and finish or find the kick out. Yeah, that's great. And, and, and you know, being used in these as a screener too, right? Being able to yeah. pop into open space. Um, and then showing the touch, the size, the finish. You know, that's, that's great. And being able to play in those, those situations. Um, what do you see here? Any, anything you would have done differently on this one? I think I had the mismatch, so I have to like come more the middle of the court mm -hmm. and taking a nice All right, we'll get into your pick and roll stuff, right? And I think a lot of it too is playing low for you yeah. um, and, and making sure you're patient and setting up the screen. Yeah. You remember this play? Yeah. What do you, what do you see? 
uh, I have to do a better setup because a lot of defenders are smaller than me, so yeah. they're more aggressive on the ball. So I have to do a great setup and then take the pick. Yeah, so if you wait for the screen, right? Yeah. And then... then and start driving left and then come back to the pick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's something Hugo I was just talking with about as well, like the importance of those, those setups. And we'll show you doing exactly that on these next few because I think as the year's gone along, you've gotten a lot better at this. So like even this one, right? So yeah. you attack and then get the other direction, right? Yeah. So, you, so he gets through this one, right? Yeah, and then re-screen. Yep. And then float game. Has that always been a big part of your game? The yeah. floater? Yeah, I like I like the floater because the big still waiting. Yeah. And then it's the and then they're under the rim, so it's perfect. That's a that's a big time finish. And and we've seen that from you. And then I love this. So this is early in the year, but talking about the setups, right? So okay, you're patient for the screen. Take me through kind of this this progression. Because this is like high level IQ stuff. Like I think they were first green. Uh -huh. And then I saw they don't really switch. Yeah. So I'm coming back to the for a handoff and just driving the big. Yeah, that's great. Where you've always no understood those concepts, or that's something you've developed. Uh, I think I developed, but I always play like point guard. Yeah. So yeah. I'll so you know that. the style. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's NBA stuff right there. All right. So that's you know the setups. We talked about the importance of that, and now the scoring, right? So. Yeah. To be an effective pick and roll scorer, what are the most important things in in your view? Uh, be able to shoot off the screen. I remember yeah, you remember this? Yeah, yeah. So when was this? This is early in the year or recent? Uh, recent. Okay. It was the last game against Brisbane. So if you had it back, what would you do? Uh, after the second end, uh, I should sh shot. Yeah, because yeah. he's going yeah. under the rescreen, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so that's then. Um, now they're just waiting for you, right? It makes yeah. it difficult, but I think. You've shown that, all right, if you're going to go under. Like this one, yeah. Knockdown. Exactly. Um, and, and it seems like your confidence has really grown, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm really working on my shot because I struggled. Yeah. Year, so now I'm more confident. And, yeah, I'm just letting fly. And uh, it, it's been impressive. So then, all right, if they go under the first one, what is, what's an option then for you? The rescreen, right? Yeah. Float. Yeah. Big time, easy. Um, so really, really skilled. So what about what about this one? So coming off, um, I guess I'll ask like, what about as a where are you at as a finisher, and what are your options in these situations? I think I should pass to the roller. Okay, so you could hit the roller maybe. Yep. Like a short for pass, like in the pocket. Yep. And then I think finding ways to draw more fouls too, even for you, like at your size, right? You haven't shot a lot of free throws this year. Not really. Yeah, so it, maybe it's getting creative with yeah. Euro, sweet, all those little things that you've practiced, right? Yeah. Um, for sure. And I, at your size, with your touch, you know, I think that those parts of your game are going to keep growing for sure. Um, and then here, turning the corner, like being aggressive, drawing the foul, right? I should have uh, made this one. Yeah, should have finished this. Yeah. So how, how about, like, where are you more comfortable, um, two feet or one foot, in terms of, like, exploding? Uh... I think for like contest, contested layup, I'm more comfortable with two feet. With two. But it's like for dunks, like yeah. ice break dunk, more one, one foot. Because even from here, you might be able to just yeah. pound dribble, yeah. one foot, yeah. bang, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, but again, drawing the foul, being aggressive, you know, all, all those little things, right? Yeah. And then here, like being able to take the contact, finish through contact, uh, what do you see on this one? So he's kind of out of position? I know he's like really tall, so yeah. really slow, so I just blow by him and yeah, he's really tall, so I have to put the ball on the eye on the glass. Yeah, and being able to play through that contact yeah. I think is, is huge and embracing it and having no issues with that. And then I like this finish a lot. Um, mm -hmm. You remember this play? Uh, oh yeah. So what, what's going through your head here and what would you call this? Think they switch. He's waiting me. Yeah. In the paint, so I'm just taking a a contact with my right shoulder and just finish over. Him. Yeah, and it's like one of those kind of slow down type yeah. of finish, right? Um, that's a lot of creativity, and I think at your size, 
you know, um, that's really, really hard to guard. So there we can see, like, you can shoot it off the dribble, force them to go over, and then you can use your size, change the pace, get downhill and finish. And now the passing, like I said, this is, this is where I've been, you know, really impressed. So uh, take me through kind of this play and, and what you're seeing. Uh, it's showing, mm -hmm. and, but there is no last, like, there is no help yep. on the roller, so I'm just taking a dribble back and pass it to the roller. Perfect, simple game. And even him, like, there's no, no tag here at, yeah. at the free throw line. And, I mean, being able to make that pass off the dribble, man, that's, that's a big-time read. Um, and then here, so what, you, you're really good at this, too, keeping the guy on your back. Yeah. Um, so what's kind of your objective, you know, Ariel and the drop here? Uh, I'm like I'm keeping in the pocket uh -huh. and waiting if the big's coming or not. Uh -huh. If he's coming on me, I'm just passing to the roller, and if not, I'm just Float. the floater. Yeah. So it's com it's almost like mind games, right? Yeah. You're play you're kind of trying to be deceptive yeah. with him. Yeah, and that's you'll be in those situations a lot, you know, in the NBA and. I think at your age, man, when do you turn 19? Uh, 21st May. 21st of May, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, one of the youngest players in the draft yeah. on May 19th. It's a good, it's a good time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, having that poise and patience at your age, I think, is, is really, really impressive. Um, so, we went through one of these. This from yesterday, right? Yeah. Similar play we watched earlier. Any, anything you see here? I have the pass to the roller. The, the pocket. The back. Yeah, the pocket or the kickback, I think. Or the kickback here? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, probably had the pocket pass, right? Um, but, again, smart up fake, get him in the air, and that's a shot you can finish, right? Yeah. And you will finish. But, yeah, maybe had the lefty pocket pass. Um, and then we got this one. I really like this. So what do you see in here? Step up screen. Yeah. The Lamar fighter song. Uh-huh. Choking a lot. So yes. I just have the kickback. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so you're seeing he's tagging here? Yeah. And one thing I've noticed with you, like especially in transition, like you're always playing with your head up, yeah. always. Uh, is it, were you taught that way? Who, who kind of taught you some of these principles? Uh, when I grow up, like yeah. every coach in France always have his head up. Yeah. And I love passing too, so. Yeah. This is one of the best passes maybe uh, in this league all year, I thought. Um, just like the pace, the patience, the rhythm. Like this is a natural basketball play. Take me through this. Uh, so I'm taking the screen uh -huh. and the corner defender like fall asleep a little bit in the paint. So yes, try the best to Hugo. And what makes you deliver the ball kind of from this angle, right? Like I think some guys maybe get sped up and they, you know, they'll try to throw a pass mm -hmm. like this, or but you kind of take an extra dribble and then throw this yeah. hook pass. I think I long. No harm, so uh -huh. I can like just take a dream ball and passing over the defense. I definitely think it's one of the best parts of your game, but maybe the best part of your game is your passing. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, especially at, at your size. And so, all right, now some of the fun stuff, right? Um, the pull-up games. So, what what are some of your go-to? Because we've seen step backs, side steps, kind of the through the legs move, yeah. um, and then you have this one too, right? Yeah, I like the step back and the between the legs side step. Yeah. I really like yeah, like Jason Tatum is another good one too, I yeah. think, um, for moves like that. All right, so we see that move, that kind of the behind the back. This is smooth. Is that Franks again? Yeah. Yeah, poor Franks. <laughs> Gave him the business there on a couple of them. So, all right, now I think sometimes it's about, too, like finding that blend between... Driving. And yeah, driving. right? Is that something you're working on? Yeah, that's what I have to improve on because sometimes I have to drive. Like, yeah. And small guy, yeah. right, who's at Josh Adams? Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes they might even put a point guard on you at the next level and yeah. just say, beat us, you know? Um, so finding ways to do that. And I think you've shown that, though, like this game. I thought you were really aggressive, right? Yeah. And downhill to the rim. Like, you're big, man. <laughs> you're hard to guard, you know? Um, what, do you, what do you see on this one? He's a big, uh -huh. slow, slow big, so just drive him. Get downhill, yeah, a little bump. Contact, yeah. So, all right, we've seen you getting all the way downhill. And then this is something, you don't shoot a ton of kind of mid-range shots, huh? Are no, you, not really. But this is pretty impressive. What are you seeing on this one? Uh, I'm taking the contact and yep. just shoot over. Yeah, not your size, right? I mean, yeah. that's hard to block. 
for anybody. Yeah. Guards, bigs, whoever it is. So big time shot there. And so that's the offensive side. I think you can make those catch and shoot threes. Mm -hmm. You can play pick and roll. Um, you know, you can isolate and get to those pull up threes, right? What about defensively? What has been the growth there for you? What's, what, how would you rate yourself? Um, and what are some of the things you're working on? Uh, I'm working a lot on, on defense. Yeah. And now I'm the youngest player in, the, in this league and I have to earn my minutes yeah. and start on defense. So I have to show that I can defend a one, two, four, yeah. I think. Yeah. And yeah, I have to improve on that, but I think I improve a little bit this year. For sure. Bit. And we'll, we'll show all that. I think like you have the ability to guard multiple positions. Yeah. You have really good feet for a guy your size, right? And this, I think, shows that. So this is against a point guard, right? Yeah. So we're sitting down, sliding. He's going to kill the ball. And then you're going to switch onto another guard, right? Yeah. And active feet, cutting off the drive. I mean, that single-handedly, you killed their entire possession there, right? Yeah. Um, what have been the keys for you to being like a good defender, like improving? What are some of the things? Uh, my move my feet quicker. Uh huh. Because. Because maybe earlier in the year they caught you upright a little bit. Yeah, and I'm open up too too early. I think. Open up too much. Yeah. Open your hips too much. Yeah. You're saying. Yeah. So have you? Do you look at a lot of film? Is that something you've you've yeah, looked at defensively? Yeah. Too. Yeah. Um, well, you can really see it because like now you're playing angles too, yeah. right? You're not as flat and then there's the length hard to shoot over, right? Yeah, and I'm now I'm I'm saying further than before because I know with my lens I can I can contest the shot so and then you know being able to use your length even if they do get to the rim, right? Yeah go Yeah, shot then go back straight and open. Yeah, and then you're you're out running, right? So um, showing that you know you can guard point guards like that, um, and then push. Okay, sometimes maybe the more physical guys will get you. Who is this? You remember? Uh, Macintosh. Okay. Yeah, he's a big body, right? Yeah. Anything you would have done different here? Or I think tough saw, move. Yeah, we saw in the scout that he's like use a lot of spin moves. So okay, I should be on this side and know what happened. So anticipating that yeah. move, right? And like you said, maybe even giving more of a gap. Yeah. Um, you know, and a lot of it is studying the scouting report and stuff like that, like you said. Um, but I thought you've had some great possessions against Lamar, huh? Yeah. He yeah. struggles against you. Yeah, I think we really scout him good, so yeah. we know uh, what's, what he's going to do. And I like this, though, because, all right, so often when we switch, sometimes guys are just lazy, point switch, mm -hmm. you know, like you got to be up into the ball, right? Yeah, and that was a tough possession, so. And key point in the game, yeah. tie game, 35 yeah. seconds left. You're sliding with him, force him to kill it over your length. That's right? Yeah. That's how you earn the trust of your coach, right? Yeah, exactly. You make those big plays and big moments. Okay, what about kind of like chasing these shooters around, right? You remember this play? Uh, oh, yeah. I have to chase him. And yeah. And go under because he's a shooter. So stay attached to his outside hip, right? Yeah. Blow it up. And I saw you in practice the other day doing that really, really well. Yeah. Um, and with your length, your footwork, I think you're someone who could be bothersome to those type of guys. Um, and then it's getting through screens too, right? Uh, so what are your, what's your goal here? Get through and contest? Uh, I don't remember the cover, but yeah. I think I should be go over because it was a drop, so. Okay. Yeah, I should go over. But still, you're able to get through. Yeah. You get a hand, you contest. Like, that's all effort, right? Yeah. Um, and, and make it a tough shot. And so... You know, I think doing a good job there. And then fighting on these, these switches too, you know. Um, I think people will maybe think because you're so skilled yeah. and finesse and you can handle and do all these things, you're a nice guy, that maybe you're not this, like, tough guy. Do you think that's wrong? Yeah, I think in the post it's become personal, like, because maybe the, they're thinking I'm, like, skinny, so yeah. they will post me up and now I'm just fighting. The, to steal the ball. Yeah, you have a quiet, uh, quiet toughness and confidence about you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm really confident. And yeah, like I said, it's like it's personal. Yeah, in the post, you don't yeah. want to get punked. Yeah, nobody wants to get punked in the post. Um, 
And uh, that was a really good job, you know, on that switch, um, being able to fight, being able to battle, yeah. um, and get the steal, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you're out and running. Um, okay, what about this one? How, how are you supposed to guard these cross screens? How do you guys normally guard these? Uh, I should go over the screen. Okay. To be able to front him after the... So you fight over? Yeah. And then front? Yeah, send him under and me go over. Okay. And then front him. Because now when he catches this deep, yeah. you can't do anything, right? Yeah. Um, that's a tough finish. But this, I, I, like, your physical early pushing him off his spot, right? Mm -hmm. It all starts before the catch. Yeah, before the catch I have to. And then he catches the ball. Outside the paint? Yeah, outside the paint. So now I can wait for the trap. Yeah. Just... And you got guys digging at the ball, yeah. right? Um, no, that's great. And then a good contest. Uh, so showing that you know you can you can be physical, you can bang with those guys. And then I think your off ball defense has really improved throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, 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 definitely. Was it a lot moving fast at, at first? Uh, I think last year we at Inset we were defending like on the lane passes. Uh huh. And so a different so, style. Yeah. So more aggressive. Okay. So I just trying to keep 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 this difference from that and. Trying to create it here. What do you see on this one? You remember this? Oh uh, yeah, like I fall asleep on the on the on the cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So seeing the man and ball, right? Yeah. You guys behind, easy layup. So little things like that. I think we've seen more and more from you, like the growth, right? Yeah. Um, or even like the in this situation. So you remember this last night? Yeah. That's Anything you could have done? Let's see. Maybe be here earlier. Earlier, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And using your your size, your length, your you know, being aggressive with it, walling up, right? Yeah. Verticality, because um, you're tough to finish over. And this, like exactly like this. Yeah, exactly. It's great, right? And even if sometimes, even if like, okay, maybe you should be at yeah, the NBL early, be, yeah. but it's just effort. Yeah. It covers that up, right? Just show my put a body on it. Yeah. Jump with him. That's great. And now the last part, I think, is the rebounding, right? Yeah. Like we talked about? Yeah, I have to be better on, the, on this even because I'm long. Yeah. I have to take more rebound. For sure. I think that's definitely an area of growth for you. And then we see it here, though, right? So you guys switch this. Yeah. You have to get inside the big, right? Which you do. You get it. And then this is what I'm talking about, the head up. Yeah. PG. That's PG skills right there, right? Yeah. Hand on the ball. What, what are you seeing in the transition? Uh, I'm watching Jason. Uh huh. And he's not helping, so I'm driving, and then the help's coming. I just have to pass and tough finish. Great. That's a, that's a the wrap around. Get a piece of the paint. Yeah. Kick out. Creates the long closeout. Um, I mean, that's everything coming together right there yeah. for you, right? So that's kind of the the full view of of your game and. I mean, you're kind of the modern NBA player, right? You know, yeah. you can handle, you can shoot, you can pass. Um, you have the tools to defend. Uh, I guess, what do you think is, is your ceiling long-term when you look at the player you could be maybe in four or five years? What do you think that could look like? Uh, I want to be a all-star. Yeah. A great player in the NBA. Yeah. And, yeah, be able to have to work, still, still working on everything. And yeah. Well, Usman, it's been great to watch your, your growth, man, since, since those days in Udine. Yeah. And, you, um, you know, keep working hard, man. You got a bright right. future. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.